everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now this is my other profile, which is not regular for me to play on on the video, but I wanted to explain some of the best early game money-making methods. I'm pretty sure another YouTuber named 30virus has probably done this many times before. Go check out his channel, by the way. Link in the link it link in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get started. First of all, clay minions. Bad idea. Now, that might seem idiotic, because, look, that's a lot of stuff that can sell for a lot of money, right? So is this. This has been AFKing for two days, I think. Let's go and collect that. And let's collect this, which has been AFKing for an entire week. And let's see which one makes more money off of just the clay and the melons, because the diamonds combined it, of course. But we're going to sell the clay to the merchant. If it wants to load. 45,600 coins. Okay? For just the enchanted clay. So almost 50k. And now, this has been Ave King for five days less. If we just go over here. Hold on. Server's laggy, one sec. Okay. If we were to just sell the enchanted melons only, it would be 15k. And this was five days less of AFK. Five days. That could make a giant difference. And then all the diamonds, of course. Like, sure, clay is profitable. But you've got to wait for a while to actually be able to make profit from clay. Let's move on to the next thing. Off. Oh. Alright, we're going to stay on the minion trend. And still no clay, okay? Melon might be good, but I think the real best one is going to be gravel minions. Now, that might sound silly, like... Actually stupid, kind of. But, if you can get it upgraded to the point where you can almost get four enchanted flint per fill-up, which I'm almost there, let me see if I can just... Get a little bit more. Give me one second. And whenever you're doing this, once you get past, like, I think it's three, start putting a flint shovel in so that you can only get flint. And, yeah, I don't have enough right now. But if I take this six, only six enchanted flint and head to the bazaar real quick. Now, nobody's really to flint because it's kind of useless unless you're trying to make money. So you're just going to sell inventory. And it's 18k for 6 pieces. That took... That 6 pieces took, like, what? Um... 12 hours? Where... With you are going to AFK for 7 days, an entire week. And you're not going to get that much more than you would with... A flint tier, I think it was six, yeah. Gravel tier six. Now, still on the minion trend. Crap, forgot my pickaxe. Okay. Magma cube minions. Now, I have it like this because I'm trying to get my armor of magma upgraded. So, this is the best for me. But, I would recommend making one just look up magma cube tutorial skyblock and you'll find a tutorial for making a magma cube grinder and it will make tons of money trust me if i just come over here it's just there we go now i've got some extra 14 so 20 enchanted magma cream and now we're gonna head to farm merchant closest here oh crap sorry and 25k for 20 which is very good 
and I left that for way too long. If I were to just check it in like a day, it would be full on all of them, and I would be able to make a good amount of money. Okay, now, I think that's about it with minions. Oh, one more thing. Put down a... Try to get a tier 7 potato minion. I'm a little behind. And just kind of grind it out for a while. Make a hot potato book or two. And sell it on auction house or bazaar. Mostly bazaar. And that will make you like 40k coins. Alright. We're going to move on to a different strat now. Auction flipping. At first it's going to be a little hard to figure it out because you're a little early game. But if you can get a good amount of money aspect of the end. Put it to lowest price. And you're going to buy the cheapest one. Normally it's about 250 to 500k for the cheapest one. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to gonna want to get a whole bunch of experience bottles go over to your enchanting area and get a few enchantments on it and that will gain you a good 500,000 coins like for example I've only got 60 levels right now so it's not gonna do too much so let's just go over here and let's grab like 500k out of my bank and now we're going to auction browser, cheapest aspect of the end, only 290k. Let me buy it. Come on. Come on. Give me a minute. All right. There we go. 300k for a sharp aspect of the end. I would recommend trying to find spicy or sharp. So this works out very well. And now I've only got 60 levels, so it's not going to do too much. But let's head over here. And what you're going to want to do, sharpness 5 and telekinesis. Now, you might want to keep it for a little longer if you want to make more money, but I'm not worrying about making a whole bunch of money, so I am just going to head over to the auction house now. Make sure you've got, like, 5k coins on you so that you can make the auction. Just 5k. And before you end up on auction, mostly for bin, it would be recommended bin. Before you do that, try to find an enchanted one and see how much it's selling for. So let's see, this one is selling for about 400k. So I could probably make around 100k off of a, this one that I'm about to put up. Let's create an auction, sharp aspect of the end with sharpness 5 telekinesis. You're going to want to start it at around whatever you see. You're just going to want to do something like this. So, so that is one coin cheaper. It's not going to do much, but put it up for an hour and 4K putting it up. And we'll check back on that later. I'm going to look at some other method we're gonna look at some other methods now i'll be right back all right another method farming i've got a giant pup i've got a giant melon farm but right now melons have dropped prices by a lot for some reason so i recommend pumpkin but get a pumpkin or melon farm and make it across like this you can see that i'm not finished but if you go to like anybody Anybody Goods Island, I can't speak, anybody's, never mind, you understand, 
Um, and you're going to plant all of it like this, and you're going to want to make a giant pumpkin or melon farm, whichever is more profitable at that time. I would recommend doing a, right now, I, re I would recommend doing a um, pumpkin farm on the bottom, and then make another layer of melon, and then make another layer of pumpkin, and then make another layer of sugarcane, and then do another layer of melon. That's just what I would do if I were you. And that would make you tons of money, but that's also going to be a little expensive, so yeah. Okay, so one of the most surprising methods of making money in Hypixel Skyblock at the early game is actually minor armor. Now, it sounds weird, it's a little rare, but it's actually not that rare. You can get it in like 1 in 50, probably, 1 in 100 at most. Just go grind them, because you probably got a lot of health by now from all this flipping and stuff, and grinding. From all the farming. So, what you're going to want to do is head to the deep caverns. Now, I've shown this before, but it was in my first video, which, yes, it has the most views on my channel. But, I bet you a lot of people didn't see this part. So come down to the deep caverns, once you get down to the deep caverns, you're going to want to come over to this little side here, so you'll spawn in like right here, jump down here, and be careful about the lava, don't want to burn yourself, and right here, jump right here, and make sure you're like up on the wall, and you want to all of there, just make sure you don't have coins on you. Because that could lose you a lot of points if you're not paying attention to how much you have. Now, you could either go to the Diamond Reserve or the Obsidian Sanctuary. I would recommend the Obsidian Sanctuary because not as many people are here for some reason. Let's just kill a few zombies. I'll be back in a minute or two to see how much money we make off this. Alright, it's been a little under five minutes. And this is what we got. We got a minor chest plate, we got a whole bunch of bones, and we got some rotten flesh. So, let's just go ahead and head to the hub. Here we are. And you're going to want to come over here to the farm merchant and sell that to that. Sell that to the farm merchant for 4,000 coins. Now we're going to come over here and sell all this stuff. And then I got this random rune, but runes don't matter, so I'm just gonna drop that. Okay, so you can see that made me around 8k coins, right? So that's not terrible saying it was only 5 minutes, and I made 8k coins. Alright, let's move on to the next strategy. Alright, next strategy, bizarre flipping. It's kind of like auction flipping, but a little different. Uh, too laggy! Hold on. Alright, here we are. Just for example, let's go to mining and let's go to coal. Let's do enchanted coal blocks, why not? Alright, let's see. So if I were to create a buy order, it would cost around 188000 Okay? And then, if I were to take that 188000 coins that I just spent on the enchanted coal block, and put it for a sell offer, it would sell for 192,000, which means 4k profit. Let's go ahead and do that real quick so that you can see. But let's do a little bit of a cheaper version. Alright, instead of 500k, let's do 500 coins and do regular coal. Now you could do this on tons of other stuff and wait and make way more money. Like, just for quick example, recombobulator. You can create a buy order for around 5 mil, and you can sell it for another 50k, basically. Anyways, let's go ahead and buy ourselves some coal. Let's see if we can buy a stack. Yep. So, let's remember, we started at 500 coins. Already filled. Look at that. 
There we go. And now let's go ahead and put this back up. A stack. Best offer minus one. And servers too laggy. And there we go. Five or fifty one coin fifty one point four coins made from that. You can do way more like I said before, you could probably even do it with some more expensive stuff, like I said, recombobulators. Um but I would recommend like right now if you have the game and you can do this because Jerry's gonna be gone in a day and three hours I think it was and he only comes twice an entire real life year golden Jerry boxes 101.8 million coins and you can put it back up for um so 1.8 million coins but exactly one fat one million eight hundred and sixty thousand coins okay create sell offer one million eight hundred and eighty one thousand coins twenty one thousand coin deal it's a little hard for people to actually buy them sometimes though so be careful about those but yeah so That's a good money making method. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, the next money strategy, pay attention to the mayors. Trust me, you can make tons of money off of this kind of stuff. Like right now it's Jerry, like I said before, and he'll give perk pop galips, which will give a whole bunch of different things. But really the real profitable thing is Jerry Pocalypse, reveal hidden Jerry's from logging Farming, mining, and killing mobs. Any of those, do a whole bunch of that, and eventually a random Jerry type will spawn. You could either open it, or you could sell it at the bazaar for more money that you would actually get out of it. I would recommend only opening the purple and the legendary so that you can get a Jerry Sheen Gun. And besides that, sell the blue and the green to the bazaar and then like next if we look at here a trucks is leading in votes and there's only a day and he's leading in votes by a lot and basically what he is gonna do is slash the price of slayer quest which you can find maddox the slayer underneath the tavern right next to the graveyard look it up i'm not very good at explaining <laughs> But, yeah, he's got 60% of the votes because this is a very good mayor. He slashes the price and you get 25% more Slayer XP. Which means you could make a good, probably, 5 million coins while he's active. Just make sure he's active. He's not active very often. It's probably every 10 Skyblock years, which is like a month. So make sure if he's in, if he's part of it, vote for him as fast as you can. And, of course, there's other things besides mayors. There's events. Traveling zoo. You can get rare pets that don't come very often and sell them on the auction house after a little bit. Spooky festivals. You can buy stuff at the spookmonger or you could just sell the candy straight up to the bazaar season of jerry gifts use and sell the gifts new year's cake save them up for a few real life weeks or keep them or something whichever one you want and sell them on the auction house after a while like people are selling year one new year's cake for probably about four million coins which is very good and pay attention for these bonus mining fiestas they don't happen unless a specific person is mayor but these are good so it's the fishing festivals and also com 
compete in dark auctions, which you'll find in the forest, the wilderness, and also do farming contests. These can be very profitable. If you get enough silver, bronze, and gold, well, you only need one gold, so if you can get a gold, good job, because that's extremely hard. I've never gotten a gold before. But once you get enough to trade up to a gold, I would recommend buying a mathematical hoe blueprint and just spamming in chat. Well, don't spam, you can get banned. But say in chat that you're selling one for about one mil. Because it's really cheap to make farms. And then you can just make that money back from the mathematical hoe blueprint over here. up these stairs, talk to Anita, see one gold meadow and 32 Jacobs tickets. Okay, next thing, which is a don't do. If you go over to the house right next to the farming house, right in here, this is the pet house basically. Never sell your pet to George. Especially if it's a legendary of some sort. Go to the auction house. Put it up for bin or auction. For pets, I would recommend auction. So that you can make some more money. Because people will bid those up very high. Um, yeah. And you're going to want to... Sorry, I can't think. Um, you're going to want to put them up for auction. Because those things sell for so much more. Like, I sold a rabbit pet. Let's just look up rabbit. 2.5k. And if we go uncommon here, 9k. You can wait. You can make so much more money as long as the pet that people actually want to use. So check what people are using. Run around the hub. See what people are using. I'm using a tiger pet right now. Pigs. Tons of stuff right now. People are always using pets. So, look out for pets. Never sell them to George. Now, this one will require a rank. I don't have a rank, as you can see. But, if you come to the Skyblock Hub Selector, which is right here by the travel area, back to your island, if you have VIP or higher, right here it will say random hub, okay? You're going to want to click that, press tab, and see how many people are there. As long as there's only like two people, there's going to be tons of wheat, trust me. Just walk up with like a rookie hoe or something and farm all of the wheat. Make sure you've got harvesting five and telekinesis. And that will make you tons of money. And by now, you've probably got about 6 mil, which can buy you a full dragon set and a good aspect of the end, which will basically get you to mid-game so that you can start farming zealots. Because that's very useful. You don't want to farm zealots once you get dragon armor and a max out aspect of the end. And that's basically where we're going to end the video. You can see this sold. And I made about 100k profit off of that. So that's good. And boom. Almost 3.4 mil from that. I started at like 3.2. Crap. Crap. There we go. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Link in the link it link in the description.